Three, two, one, Tetris. Making good pace here. I, uh, because I need to finish a, uh, a homework assignment. So, you know, I won't have to be up too late doing this. Alright, like a uh, cheese with a double here, got a nice three wide well. Yeah, I, I'm finishing up my computer science degree. I, I went away from school for a while and then I, I want to move to Canada, so I want to get my degree to make it easier. Should be done by next spring. Enough about me though, we got some great mat <laughs> great players here. Uh 116k for dog, 55k for Drippa Dude, and 114k for Nanu to cheese's 74k. So dog and Nanu with a good start here. Canada is a pretty cool place. You don't say, Zube Wolf. Have you been there? Tell me about it. <clears throat> uh, oh, dog with a an awkward eye placement there. It looked like he dropped his controller or something. It's like a DAS issue. Uh, so dog in a kind of awkward spot after that. There we go. Um, so Jerba Dude has some time to get caught up, I suppose. One eighty two K for dog, one fifty seven K for Drippa Dude, two oh one K for cheese, two twelve for Nano. Nano dropping a Tetris. All right. Looking like this game one is going to be pretty good. I'm hoping for all kill screens. Can we get uh, four people to hit level 30? I'd be all about that. Oh, 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 excuse me. Trippy dude with a double Tetris. Cheesefish, uh, a little bit of slideshow Tetris, but. Oh, I was eyeing that eye spin, but he wasn't feeling it. <laughs> it probably wasn't optimal. It would have been uh, stylish though. You gotta take style over efficiency. That's, that's the way to go. Cheese has been going through some awkward stacking for, for quite a while now. Um, Nino is able to gardener quite a lead, 488k to Cheese's 350k. And Cheese having to take some tucks there, it's looking rough. Let's see if he can get the right pieces. Okay, I do like that uh, little adjustment he made, but he can't get that piece over to the far left. and. Yeah, he's going to top out. Nanu is good for game one. This is still a best of three, so Nanu already with a pretty good lead here. All 
All right, let me know when you guys are ready. Meanwhile, on the left, we have uh, Derpy Dude with a pretty commanding lead over Dog. Dog having a rough 18 here. Um, 466K for Derpy Dude. He is up high, though. Oh, <laughs> he has to get some pieces over to the far left. Nice. Good thing uh, he could have made a mistake and covered as well there, but good thing he got his, uh, his JPs to the left. Right, ready from cheese and Nenu hovering three, so he's ready as well. Good, good luck, guys, on the right. Oh, I, I heard some uh, some stuff rustling. I think Microbliss is here. Let me get my screen right, up for you. Up. You're gonna have to share your screen, bud. Yeah. Unless you want me to commentate from five seconds ago. <laughs> no, I'd rather you not. So one second. Um, okay. Me, okay, score check for these players before I get Microblitz situated. We have a uh, 569k for Drippa Dude and Dog with 470, excuse me, 497k. So Drippa Dude with a commanding 100k lead going into transition. And let me get screen up for. Oh, how do I do that? On my camera. Let's just do what we were doing last week here. All right, that should be good. How are you doing, Microbliss? How was your, uh, I heard you were exploring a mansion of some sort. I was <laughs> Tomb Raider for the first time. Tomb well, Raider? not for the first time. Yeah. The, uh, the third installment. Shadow like. of the Tomb Raider. Dude. Is that, is that like a new game or The entire a mansion is so big, they have to like make an entire puzzle out of it. It's insane. Is that a remake of Tomb Raider 3? A remake of Tomb or Raider 3? Remaster? I, I, I had, don't know what that I is. I had Tomb Raider... Well, this, is, this is the re reboot, so <laughs> okay. I don't think it... Yeah, there's nothing to do with the, the old thing. Meanwhile, uh, Dog having some trouble. He needs to get to the far left. He is a very fast tapper, so... You know, like we saw last week, Dog yeah, always dude, gets out of it. Like, look, it's, it's just no issue. No issue. He's, yeah. Um, oh, he's no. so insane. Oh, cheese. Oh, my goodness, cheese. Oh, uh, waiting till the last piece there. I, don't know, I probably missed that, but <laughs> we were watching Dog for a second. Um, okay, he's able to clear it out and get to the far right. Cheese was pretty much, if he got bad orange ear there, game would be over. Um, I mean, man, there's always too much going on. Dog, once once again, up high here. He's just some tense matches, uh, Mr. Microblues. Yeah, I'm seeing that. I mean, already I'm... Oh my god, are you serious? He made that? <laughs> yeah. Get out of here. He makes it look so easy. It's not easy, guys, I can assure you. Yeah, that, that definitely was not easy for him to hit. Um... Okay. Even yeah, right I mean, now, he's it's still maintaining sweating. amazing. Um, oh. Oh, okay. oh, I I don't know. Limit, I yeah. There's there's a limit for everyone. I'm glad at the very least <laughs> <Yeah. that. laughs> we finally got to see it because he made some insane plays in that. Wow. Yeah, Jerpy is going to take the first game. He's on a pretty good pace too. He could play for 1.1 if you would like. And uh, yeah, so one up against Dog's got to be a good feeling because Dog is. He's a tough opponent, tough cookie. And uh, yeah, I'm guessing he tried to play aggressively there just because um, the the score difference was way too large for him to get lax, and you know he's gonna have to conserve every line that he has to work with. Otherwise, he wouldn't have been able to make it. So valiant effort, I think. You know, all things considered. All right, both players hovering over three. That's the new meta. Players will hover over a three if they're ready. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cute. Yeah. Three, two, one. Good luck. Good luck, dog and Jerpa, dude. Um, although, I, I feel like eventually people are going to like accidentally start on 13, you know what I mean? Well, probably. Um, <laughs> I, I, I would. Is it, is it a huge deal if they just have to like restart? Or no, just, not at know? all. Not at all. Yeah, because, I mean, it's not like... Um... I don't think it's it's that big of a deal, especially since they're not getting the exact same pieces, and you know they're not really right. so much interacting with each other right. anyway. Yeah, I'd say if it was same piece, that, example, it might be a little like, different. Uh, well, JD was playing last week, and he was uh, keeping track of the stream, <laughs> and he was using it as like basically a second pair of eyes to get him 
uh, situated on how aggressively he had to play but you know there's five seconds delay so i don't know yeah. how beneficial that is well i think seeing your opponent for score and stuff so you can turn up the dial and whatever like that's a given but mm -hmm. like you said i think that's only an issue if it was same piece sets because a really good player can take advantage of that like uh seeing the long bars coming and knowing when the, to like droughts and stuff like that so um yeah if it was same piece set maybe but we're not doing that so it doesn't really matter either way score check for the players 116k for dog uh 117k for Jerpy dude 547k for cheese fish and 372k for nano cheese fish on a really good pace actually you get to watch uh cheese fish last turn or in uh, ctwc at all he's the he was the guy that was holding the controller on his chest like a guitar yeah that's basically where i watched him from uh caught a couple of games from him um yeah, I, I don't really remember too much of his play. I was just too mesmerized by the way he was holding the controller, <laughs> right. to be honest yeah. with you. It, it is pretty cool. I mean... Um. Yeah, everybody finding new ways to play the game. Um, mm -hmm. I like the uh, the sense of individuality. Oh, that, for sure. Uh, you know, just doing that provides... Oh, he's going to need an eyepiece. All right, Cheese nice. gets it. Clears his way through. Yeah, I'll be... Uh... So yeah, Cheese is down a game. Uh, Nanu is ahead, so Cheese really has to bring it here. Nanu is no slouch. Even even though Cheese is ahead by, what, 150k, I still would be sweating against Nanu, so uh, we'll see. Yeah, Cheese sitting pretty comfortably, but um, he's he's not slacking, um, uh, pounding out those Tetrises as he see fits. He's going to probably try to maintain this lead, though. Oh. Yeah, inopportune okay. placement there. Wow, he keeps blocking his holes right when the <laughs> eyepiece comes. That's a little unfortunate because he's going to have to dig through a whole bunch of these just with line uh, line clear, some skims here and there, but yeah. pretty much through. Needs another eyepiece to get through. Meanwhile, Dog and uh, Jerpa Dude <laughs> uh, in pretty good shape. Dog, a little bit of a skim there going on on his side as well, but he's able to finally clear through, get that Tetris. Yeah, dog looking good. He had a rough uh, game one there against Jerpa Dude, but looking like he's going to bring it together a little bit. He had a killer qualifier, by the way. He had a uh, yeah, uh, 1.3. I, I, uh, I showed up before uh, just for like a status check, mm -hmm. and I saw he got like a 1.3. Yeah, you can see the when you see the D on his uh, leaderboard, that, that mm. signifies 1.3. No pun intended, or not trying to create any innuendo there, but. I mean, you still have the 40 minute rule set right for qualifiers um y yeah it's 45 so the fact that you can get a 1.3 in 45 minutes pretty pretty good i'd say have you ever had a 1.3 micro blows uh i have not um <laughs> thanks for asking <laughs> <laughs> thought i would ask you never know you are pretty good at tetris so not that good yeah. I found like you really have to be very efficient. Um, I think you really do have to optimize your your 19 play uh, to be very very aggressive, uh, just to be able to get scores like that. All right, so we're uh, in the closing parts of this game on the right here, uh, about three three levels till kill screen. It's still pretty close actually. Uh, Nano was getting caught up, so he's only down by a Tetris now. 8:30. 838k for cheesefish, 811k for uh, Nino. Yeah, just a little unfortunate that Cheese had to go through all that skimming, but he's still in pretty good shape. He still is in the lead. I'm going to have to skim a bit, and, oh, man, those eyepieces still coming in at the wrong times when uh, Cheese isn't prepared, but he's finally able to pound down two Tetrises of his own. Ooh, yeah. He's yeah, this is getting really close, yeah. though. Okay, so he's going to build up for a last Tetris here. This is going to be his last stand. Okay, pounds it down, and he has to just hope that that's enough. Yeah, these kill screen um, points do matter right now. Oh, wow. He's going to try for another. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, he, he set up. Do it, do it, do it. Where is it at? Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. That uh, was a little, wow. The way that Cheese was playing 29, taking no chances there. 
And I didn't actually see the score on Nenu's side. Uh, was Cheese able to clinch it out this time around? <laughs> he, he did win. I was just, I okay. was really hyped for the Tetris okay. more than anything. Um, yeah, because that was the impressive <laughs> play. You saw yeah. that it was close, I'm sure. Um, yeah, very daring. Uh, it, it was definitely what he needed to get him back on track, especially since Nenu was in the lead. But looking over at Dog and Jeff Dude's side, looks like um, Dog uh, in good shape. Stack stability looking amazing. Pounding out those Tetrises. And Jeff Dude doing the same, just trying to uh, build up to his next one here. Okay, so we got a ready from Cheese, and I believe Nanu is sitting on three, so these guys are ready. So, by the way, um, I, I don't know if you're aware of this, but Cheese is one of the first players to employ a new control method called Flyhack. Are you familiar? Have I talked to you about this yet? Flyhack? No. It's a. Uh, never heard of it. So it's like rolling in a sense. So you kind of like you hold the control in a way that you can roll your fingers like on the bottom of the controller, and it creates like very fast inputs. Um. It's it's real I uh it's really hard to do, but if you can master it, you it's like faster than a hybrid tapping by uh, by a lot. Um, so interesting. That's what Cheese was doing. To uh, so do you mean rolling like just rolling it, rolling your your hand back and forth like think about like you're playing an arpeggio or something on the piano. You know what I mean? Where you just like playing the same four notes over and over. I, I have never played. Piano, uh, okay, so, so uh, let's see. So you're just using like all are you like uh, i know uh thor for example <laughs> he just vibrates is it like vibrating no you're using you're employing all all your fingers so you're tapping with say all five of your fingers within half a second for okay, example somebody said you're drumming your fingers what i i don't know are people playing music at the same time now i i don't understand so okay what, what is this new generation <laughs> i don't understand it I, I think okay so hold hold your hand over your desk right so okay you put your thumb down index finger down middle finger down uh ring finger down and then pinky finger you do that over and over that's rolling Oh, interesting. So you're using three fingers to just what vibrate between those? Or roll uh, I don't know how many those. fingers is used in Flyhack, but potentially five if you're rolling all your fingers. I'll, I'll send you a video after <laughs> to clarify because okay. it, it is cool. It is cool. <laughs> it's hard for me to get yeah. a visual without, or you know, like an actual visual. Somebody, um, somebody, link uh, Microblizz a what it what it looks yeah, like. Yeah, words don't really do it for me. I'm I'm too much of a visual learner, unfortunately. Um. Or, or, or link it to me and I'll send it to him. Either way, uh, <laughs> either way, we have a great game happening on the left. Uh, 964K for a do or for dog and uh, 956K for Jerpy So another coming down to the wire game here. And neither of these players can fly heck as far as I know. So <laughs> we might not see the craziness, but. So Cheese is the uh, first and only person to be able to do this. I think others are trying to make it work. Uh, ooh, can dog, dog can't get a Tetris there. And Jerpidude's only down by 6K, so this Tetris should be good for Jerpidude, and Jerpidude takes out dog. Um, 2 0. So we'll play Jerpidude. Wow. So Jerpidude uh, moves on. Is it uh, best of two? Or best, best, best of three of one? until uh, finals or best of five? So. Uh, okay, okay. Wow. Yeah. Brutal quick fire format. And. Uh, but that was a great game to go out on. I mean, both players able to hit that max. So thank you, Dog, yeah, for coming out. this is definitely one of those uh, formats that, you know, like it's do or die. Um, right. This is actually something that I suggested uh, that Blink do, for example, a couple of years ago with Gestress. And I think it definitely makes it more competitive that way because you know that you don't have a loser's bracket to go through. Um, you don't have that, that luxury anymore. And because of that, you know, people bring out their A games. Um, the matches like i said get a lot more competitive uh because of that as well mm -hmm. yeah you know single elim for <laughs> for guideline that would be interesting it would definitely throw no one really does try to do it because here's the thing like if players get tournaments the way they want in competitive games it's going to be like all best of sevens double elim you know what i mean it's just sometimes you gotta yeah, lay down the law. I, I do think um, there's probably gonna be resistance to that because the the tried formula is typically um, double elimination, especially if you 
hit a top player uh, at the very beginning of the tournament, it, it does sting a little bit to know that, you know, that's going to be the barrier in the way. But um, even in, in uh, sports, uh, you know, uh, professional sports, there's a lot of formats that go this way. And uh, my thinking is if you're going to um, if you're going to make the distance, then it's important for you to be able to combat any competitor that you might face. Um, that's just the way that I see it. Um, naturally, you know, uh, some players who want a little bit more experience uh, might not think the same way. It It is, um, hmm, I don't know, something to be discussed, I guess. Yeah, I, I just think, so I, I used to play a lot of StarCraft, and StarCraft players are notorious for, like, always wanting the most balanced fair game ever. You know what I mean? Sometimes you just got to, like, stick it to them. And, because it's, some, it's fun to watch when there's upsets and stuff like that too you know what i mean it's uh it's something to think about i respect i guess the the focus should um be based on the question of whether you want it to be fun to watch or you know um fair i don't know how to award the question exactly but yeah i guess fair to the competitors or entertaining to the viewers <clears throat> and spectators mm -hmm. i think uh i don't know tetris isn't always fair. That's the thing. So it's like uh, a best of three is not <laughs> well, as fair as a best of five. This but one. Yeah. <laughs> um, but you know, same piece sets are allowed. I think a lot of the players here can do it. So if they want to, they have the option. I'll just throw that out there. Um, I do accept same piece sets in these this tournament. Either way, uh, transition for Cheesefish 525k. Nadu playing pretty aggressive for this transition. <laughs> Who gets along for it the last wow. second? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> It would be death if I tried something like that. Um, okay. I He's believe this is tied up He's in a pretty safe position here. now, though. He's going to have to compromise that a little bit. Great skim decision. Over there on Cheese's side, he's making some uh, great plays himself. He just needs that J piece. Okay, he uh, opts to make the skim there. He's going to need another J piece just for the left side. And he gets it. He's Tetris ready at the moment. Bounce it down. And he is currently in the lead by just a little bit. So this one's actually going to be a nail biter. Mm -hmm. It is a first to three format. So anybody's game at the moment. Right. Um, I really hope it comes down. I want to see some more fly heck. And uh, oh, let me see if anyone linked it to me because I do want to show you what it looks like. Somebody DM me uh, like take a mech fly mech or fly mech <laughs> fly heck video. <laughs> I think it was Tegamek that kind of came up with it. Correct me if I'm wrong. He's a kind of a, he's a moderator in the CTM community and okay. pretty accomplished DAS player as well from Sweden. Yeah, let me uh, let me take a look at it afterwards. But man, some of the some of the fixes that Cheese goes through is is just incredible. I like the um, the skim compromises that he goes for because um, you know he it. It shows to me he's a, a very intelligent player. He knows his own limits, and oh boy. Okay, he gets the eyepiece. Unfortunate there that he decided oh. to uh, go for the skim for survival, but I completely understand that decision. It is what it is. Um, if he didn't go for it, he would have gotten the Tetris, but um, better safe than sorry. He finally gets the Tetris now. Over on oh. Nenu's side, this could be his last leg there. It's so close. Gonna have yeah. a lot of digging to do. He needs to get an eyepiece to the right That's side. That's a fat tap, regardless. Yeah. yeah. Um, Cheesefish is good. So Cheesefish will make it to the finals um, over Nadu. Wow. 